Now, the good thing is about uh, tying the uh, realistic flies is that the most realistic, not, not most, but all of uh, realistic flies have extended body. So you can use the smaller size hook so you don't have a weight, which is excellent, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm using a actually 14 size hook, which is very small. Now, you notice that I didn't cut it with the scissors, I just snap it. That's the normal procedure that the people are mostly cutting the thread with the, with the, uh, with the scissors. That's the wrong thing. You don't really tie it. So I'm just putting really tight all this um, thread around the hook. Now, there's body already made. Did you see it? Here? You see it? There is a body, kind of a brownish, grayish, okay? There's a two tails on Isonychia because Nib has a three tails, but loses is one. I prefer is the two tails. I prefer microfibets as a tail when I make my own realistic flies. But this company has a longer body. The fly has a longer body. And now look. I already have a body and tails. See? Did you see that? No problem. Now, to tie the wings, You're normally buying those body parts, it costs some money, they're not too expensive. There is wings. You see them? No? You see them? Here they are. You see them? Right. Now, this material here, body and tail, floats, which is good. But I still believe it needs some more support to stay high on the water, so I put a huckle on it. Now, since I have these wings here, which are a little bit stiffer, I can tie two different styles of the huckle, either parachute around the wings or just around. So which one you would like? <laughs> parachute, okay. I'll try the parachute. Now, to recognize the good quality of the materials is important too. Materials, especially hackle, could be really lousy one. And, but if you spend some more money, you can get the good one. Uh, this is not the number one, but it's, I couldn't find it. This is made by uh, whitening. Uh, you can get a match too, it's not bad, okay? Now, 
when I tie classic dry fly, traditional they call that whatever, uh, I used to I used to tell the people, I used to actually teach fly tying in a old time. Um, and I used to tell that tying the huckle, most of the 90% of the fly tires put it this way. And also, if you're tying traditional, you don't put the huckle the last one, you put the second one. The first thing you put a wing, and then the second thing is you put a huckle this way on the front. It doesn't bother you. So you buried the end of the huckle. Then you lift it up be, be, between the wings, and then put a dubbing and you do it. So it's buried. It's not. You also don't. You also don't pull the fibers of the huckle. You leave it this way. You see it? So it has a little, little fibers sticking. So you will catch it between the thread. And so again, it's tied this way. I'm sorry, I have a problem tonight tying the flies because uh, I have arthritis in my hand, unfortunately. But here you are, I put it on the front this way between the wings. Okay. Now, good things about those wings are you can push them any way you want and you can form it. You can form this. Are you seeing well? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Now, another thing is I created and it helps is this. Put it right by the bike. Flyers. So what it does is, is it grab that huckle, and I have this to cushion the thing so less chances that you break it. All these materials are important that you have it because it helps a lot. I mean, a lot of people don't pay attention to that, but believe me, it's, it's important to have this. Now, you said parachute. Let's, let's do it. I hope I will succeed. It. As I said, this arm is bothering me. If you go one below the other turn, that would be more better if you can manage that.
You know, be careful not to catch the thread, otherwise you lose it. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'll, I'll fix it later. No, this one, this, to answer Dave's question, this one would show the body. If it sits on the water like this, they would show the body and hook, normally hook down, but it, it was sitting on a body because body floats. And um, that, to me, is, is, is good things because the trout would recognize that very well. You can split those wings, you can do whatever you want after you tie them. Here you are. <laughs>